how to do two fish. So one of the fish will be blue and one is pink. We'll start with the blue one. They're both going to be on either side of the mouth. So start with this side. And you make the fish's body starting from the middle of the lips. Out. And out. It can be round, long, whichever shape you would like to make it. And then a tail. fins on the top and on the bottom. Fill it out and a little bit extra for the lips. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side with pink. There is no set way to do it. You can do whatever shape or color of fish you'd like to make. They both end in the middle on the mouth with the lips here again. And while that is drying, we'll make some little bubbles of water going up the nose. You can make some designs on the fish. We'll make some with purple, some stripes. A little circle of white for the eyes, which we will draw later. Then take a very thin paintbrush Line the fish with black. Can make a second fin on both on both both of them, which you just draw on like this. And a dot for the eyes. You can do a little bit of, of a blue outline for the bubbles. some glitter with silver for the water bubbles and purple or pink for the other fish. And that's it.
how to do an angel. You start off with your sponge and if you have uh, some silver paint, just to wet the sponge a tiny bit and get a little bit of silver. This is not really like a color, but more just to give a shine to the face. You just get a little bit and put it all over, just so the face has a little bit of a glow and a shine. Shine, uh, most along the bottom, along the nose and the cheeks. Now for the wings, you first start off with a light blue. I'm using a metallic paint, but any sort of light blue will be good. And you begin right from the corner of the eye, like this, and up. Just a basic outline of the wings, one, two, to look a little bit like feathers. And the same on the other side. Next we take the white, which is the main color for the wings, and basically outline it, uh, starting with the blue, Fill in the eye. Can make a little bit like uh, teardrops going up, up, up on the side, and the same on the other side. And while we still have the white, we can make some, some stars, a little bit of stars and sparkles, which is just a line. Here too, a line, and two more crossing lines. Then we get some, some yellow for a halo in the middle. And here also you can put a little sparkle. And you can outline the halo with a little bit of black. Just as a little touch up, you can add. You can also add some silver glitter. It's good to put uh, glitter when the paint is still dry. What I do is you wet your finger with just a drop of water, dip it in the glitter. of it all along the eyebrow on the freckles. We're going to do a dog. So we first start out with our sponge and a little bit of white. And you start from the top, down the nose, A little like a round, like 
This is just the base color and it doesn't have to be perfect. Afterwards we'll touch it up with the paintbrush. So we do white and then brown. You don't need to go all the way down on the bottom, just a little bit on the corner and then the top, over the eyes. Okay, that's the basic the basic framework and then we can fill in the details. Start out with the white. The white just make little strokes to make it look like fur on the top. And on the bottom again. Then we take a little bit of red for the nose and the tongue. Start out with the nose. Just follow the outline of, of the nose. And now we can fill in the details with black. Make a nice outline of the nose. A line down to the mouth and for the lips, color the lips black. Some freckles. A little bit of outline on top with, for the fur with the brown. You could do some eyelashes in either black or white. We'll use black. Just make the red a little bit darker for the nose. If you want to use some glitter, you could use silver or brown or, or golden. So we'll use some golden. And lastly, we'll outline the tongue. There's our dog. We're going to learn how to do a cat. This is more like a Siamese cat. So first you start off with your sponge and white. Get a little bit of white on the sponge and do nose. From the top of the nose to a little bit on the forehead, not so much. Maybe just the nose and the mouth. A little bit out and the 
kitchen. So the, just a little bit round on the cheeks and the chin. This is the white. Then you use the, uh, your paintbrush and the sponge and make the outline. You'd start from the base of the nose up. Out like that. So after the top outline, you do it all the way down to the cheeks. All the way down to the cheeks on this side. I'll show you on this side. Up. They should be about the same size. And down to the chin. Just a little line at the bottom. So, it's all black. You can fill it up with a sponge. Wet your sponge a little bit and get some black. Some people have sensitive eyes, in which case you would leave the, the white uh, space around the eyes. Otherwise, you do it gently with a sponge and the other side as well. You can fill up any spaces left over with your paintbrush, just to make it smooth. And about the same. Then with your, the same black, you make the nose. Now you make a small line down the nose and paint the lips. Now while that's drying, uh, you take a little bit of pink and do just a little bit for the top of the ears, the inside of the ears. Now with the white, uh, you just finish up the areas that we had done with the sponge, just to make them a bit more defined. Here we would add a little bit like fur, so it looks a little bit furry. And just blend it in with your brush. Do the same for the top. Just little strokes so it looks like fur on the top and then with a very small little black brush I make the little outline the nose and that's our cat you can also add a few whiskers Going to learn how to do a clown. Now there's so many different ways of doing a clown but I'll teach you a very simple basic one and you can build on it and make it however you like. Now you can start with a light white or silver. It's not, it doesn't have to be but it's nice to have it as a very light sort of base on the whole face. Try not to make it too dark, just a light Now for the mouth, uh, you would take with red 
And the easiest way, I think, to do it is on one side of the mouth, do a circle, and one the same size on the other side, almost the same size. And a triangle on the bottom. And then just join them all together. Just join the ends of the, the circle. You can actually make the triangle a little bigger. And sort of round out the bottom. That's a mouth. And then for the eyes, you can do any bright colors. You can do two different colors. We'll do blue and purple. Start with the blue and do a little, like a cloud, three little humps over the eye. Then on the bottom, We will outline it with a darker blue. And do a purple on the other side. A red nose. Do a thin outline with black for the mouth. And do some highlights with white. And then for the rest of the cheeks, you can do any design. You could do some shapes or balloons. You can do some balloons with yellow. Just do balloons on one side, yellow and a dark blue. And a little bit of pink, so it's not so so white on the cheeks. There. We're going to do a dinosaur and you start off with a sponge with some green paint. Some bright green paint. Now you would start off with the top of the head. Two basic lumps. Down the nose, above the eyes. Then with them. Um, Another sponge, with another sponge, you uh, get yellow and put yellow on the cheeks and blending into the green. To just up to the, the mouth line. With a, with a thicker paintbrush, you would take the same green. Do one line here. From the mouth, going up, 
and one here as well, which is the ending. The base. So this is the basic color. And next we would add, he's got one big horn in the center. And two horns on the side. Use white or light yellow for the horns. some spots. Some spots of the same color going all the way down the nose and around the eyes. Then with a dark blue, a dark blue, make the nose, not the whole nose, but just a little point. And a tongue. Covering the bottom lip. Going all the way down, we have a tongue. Two little teeth. Now with a very thin paintbrush, we add the details with black. Add a little bit more on the nose to make it more prominent. And that's our dinosaur. We also add a little bit of glitter if you like. 